It's getting steamy this midday. Things are heating up. We've got a few clouds, though, kind of giving us some shade from the sun. You can see some cumulus clouds out there this midday, but it's already 86 degrees. It's warmer than the high yesterday, and the dew point is getting soupy, too, back up to 74 degrees, feeling tropical, and the heat index is now at 94, but there is a bit of a breeze. It stays humid and hot all afternoon with just a few clouds here and there. Highs are headed either side of 90, and it's going to stay warm and sticky for those evening parades and cooling back into the low 80s by 10 p.m. If you can call that cooling, we're in for a couple of really hot days here. No rain falling across Iowa. We just have those cumulus clouds developing as that warm, moist air moves right back in here. Up to the north overnight and this morning, Minnesota has been dealing with locally heavy amounts of rain, some severe weather. That cold front that stalled out there will be sweeping across Iowa as we head toward late tomorrow night. So timing things out now hour by hour. The weather stays dry this afternoon for central Iowa, although we can't rule out a stray thunder shower, maybe across far southern counties. Most of us, though, will remain dry. As we head toward your 4th of July, starting out nice and dry, Minnesota again dealing with another complex of storms that may clip the far northern tier of Iowa counties. And by midday tomorrow into the early afternoon, we can't rule out once again an isolated thunderstorm. But the main forcing waits until after the fireworks. Looks like the fireworks viewing should be just fine Wednesday evening. Evening. As we head toward overnight Wednesday, that's when the cold front begins to move in. We'll get showers and thunderstorms developing right along and ahead of it. And those storms could put down some heavy amounts of rain. Looks like the hardest hit locations overnight tomorrow night could be across the northern part of the state. And here comes another batch of rain as we head toward Thursday morning. Looks like that commute could be a little slow for folks with the rain moving out though by around 10 a.m. How much more rain are we expecting tomorrow night and Thursday? Generally a quarter to a half inch for central Iowa, but in those heavier thunder showers up to the north, potentially over an inch of rain. This afternoon, oh, it's going to be a steamy one. Highs heating up to near 90 degrees, feeling really humid, but a south wind will offer at least a little bit of relief. Here's your eight day forecast. Even hotter conditions are on tap for the 4th of July up to 93. Storms roll through overnight Wednesday night into Thursday, and those storms are going to cool us down. It will feel more comfortable by the end of the week and into the weekend with highs back into the low to mid 80s and overnight lows dropping into the 60s. But next week, those hot 90s return.